Alright guys, got a, a bit of a late start. Slept in nice and good. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's just zoom in on your face there. Alright, got a bit of a late start this morning. We're driving to a spot that we know. <laughs> Don't exactly know where we're going. We're just kind of playing it by ear right now. Um, I'll update you guys when we get to our final destination. Bop -a Kind of dragging our feet a little bit this morning. We're a little tired. We got got up a little later than we normally do. Normally we get up at 4:30, and today we got up at six. But uh, we're a little bit further down here. We're gonna check out some new ground. I think we're gonna just kind of bounce around, walk some of these skid roads and stuff call a little bit, see if we can find a bugler. We don't really have a, we don't necessarily have a game plan this morning, so we're just kind of winging it. So, stay tuned, rock with us. Hopefully we can find something. Very true. <laughs> Alright, we're in spot number two now. Sean just ripped a bugle over here. And apparently there was a bugle over here. Cameron and Jaden heard it. So I think we're gonna pop down. We're in this clear cut here. I'm gonna pop down to that landing. Rip another bugle and see if it'll respond. Get an idea of where it is, and maybe we'll go climb, mountain goat it. Yeah, through this road it wraps, but you can't drive it obviously because it's all barricaded up and washed out. But it actually wraps down and goes into the trees. So if there is a bull over there. Maybe I'll actually go after it.
There's elk here. Yeah. Yeah. They're not calling right now, but look how much well, land. they're not here right now, but you know, they're in the woods somewhere. They're in here somewhere. Look how much land you can call from up here, though. This is a nice area. It's a lot like Hubcap. I like this clear cut. Let's go uh, find somewhere else. Oh, Since yeah. we're exploring this morning. Yeah. Getting ready to leave and go check another spot. Cause we only heard the one bugle over there. We haven't heard anything since. We've been here for a while too. We're walking up this road here, back up to the car, and uh, we just heard a bugle. There he is. He's down there on that. He's down there. Somewhere. Somebody look on Onyx and see what's over here. He was coming from somewhere in there. You think he's all the way over here? Somewhere in that that valley looking deal over there.
remains of a bull bugling somewhere down below us. We decided to snack break. Snack break. Snack break. <laughs> yeah, sit down. Take a snack break. Back up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we sat there for quite a long time. Um, anyways, we sat there for quite a long time. Wind hadn't switched yet. Bull hasn't bugled in quite a while. Quite a while. You haven't heard him in a while, so we decided to head back to the cars. And uh, I would imagine that wind would be switching pretty soon. And then we might end up trying to see if we can make a move on that bull. He's probably, that skid road we were just walking, cuts back and goes back. And he... Sounds like he's somewhere in those trees down in there. Maybe a little bit down here, but I think he's more over here. <sighs> We're back up here in the clear cut, back at the cars. And, um, we've got to figure out what we're doing. I think it's like 10.30 right now. Yeah, 10.30, so. Stay tuned. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Hike that road, drop back down in there, see if we can't get him to respond. I'm trying to sneak up on him while he's in bed. Alright guys, we're going back to the road. Well, we're back on the road. But uh, we heard those bugles come from earlier. Austin and Cameron ditched us. They uh, went back to camp. Packing up, so it's just me and Jaden back there. I'm gonna go try to kill this bull. You ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Set me on fire Set me on fire Set me on fire Set me on Set me on